our right, people welcome back to the channel thank you very much for tuning in my people so a lot of development taking place in jamaica's football right now you understand and a lot of things happening the impasse with the with the reggae girls people being old and all of these things you know what i mean so all it happening wanting of a better term yeah but the, the 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 big thing about it too is that the JFF has been sent a letter. Yeah, man, lawyer, right? JFF people. Mm hmm. Lawyer, right? The JFF. And may I tell you, me basically, I go go through the letter, and then you people decide what are your thoughts on this one. Yeah. Yeah, man, you know we have to let you in the loop, people. We have to keep you informed on what is happening where the reggae boys, reggae girls saga is concerned and the JFF, you know what I mean? So, let me get into the letter, people. I'm wondering if I should tell you where the letter coming from. Let me think about it. Um... Anyways, ACC. <laughs> I'll tell you at the end of the of, of, of the of the reading um who is it basically coming from so it was a letter written to you know the JFF president Michael Ricketts yeah man Michael Ricketts they they sent this letter to and um, he's the president of the Jamaica Football Federation he said dear mister well it didn't say dear mister it said dear president Ricketts I hope that this correspondent finds you well. Mm -hmm. uh, as we are all committed to due process and maintenance of the integrity of our sport, it would be remiss were I not to call attention to the fact that on the 20th day of December 2022, the Congress of the Jamaica Football Federation adopted a new constitution replacing the previous articles so there is no longer the old constitution that was previously used now he went uh, the purse went on to that upon the establishment of this constitution the standing over sorry the standing order of the congress of the jamaica football F federation at article 9 stated that elections and the electoral process within the jff shall be conducted according to the relevant provisions of the constitution and electoral code of the Jamaica Football Federation. As you know, Article 37.6 of the constitution states that the mandate of the president, vice presidents, the members of the board of directors shall be four years. As such, it would seem imperative that we now turn our collective attention to call in the needed election so basically they're pressuring president to call election call it prezi call it you understand your mandate and the mandate of the current board and the vice presidents commence on the 15th day of september 2019 naturally by a simple calculation your four-year term of the office of constitutionally expired on the 14th day of September 2023, is the JFF current board now operating unconstitutional? According to the constitution that they have, there should be an election called already. <laughs> listen, listen, people. Now, they went on to explain this, meaning the constitution of this administration is now operating ultra virus of your newly minted constitution the nature of the standing order and said provision is not discretionary but indeed mandatory yo liar up the requirement for the holding of a congress requires 60 days notice to its members the previous congress has already set the place for this congress and all that is remaining is for a date and time to be set although article 37.6 states that terms expire at the congress where a successor is elected 
The fact that the current administration has gone beyond the mandated four years is disconcerting and warrants explanation. So they are running upon the prison and say, yo, what well, go on prison? Your time expire you now. What you need to do? You don't call an election. <laughs> My name lie up upon the president. The requirement for the holding of a Congress requires 60 days notice to its members. This previous Congress has already set the place for this. Oh, me read that already. <laughs> set and for this Congress and all that is remaining is for a date and time to be set. All right. Although Article 37.6 states that terms expire at the Congress where a successor is elected, the fact that the current administration has gone beyond the mandated four years is disconcerting and warrants explanation. They have been, re been repeated public declaration defining yourself as the most successful president of the JFF and while statistics support the idea ideation of team growth under your administration, we are now convinced that any of your administration's successes warrant a breach of the Federation's guiding principles. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Jano! So therefore, as we are all committed to the integrity and success of the JFF, we urge you and the current board to set the date for the required election. Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Any further delay compromises the electoral process by reducing its transparency, democratic protocols, and equity for all stakeholders. Now, as a stakeholder in the football community, I urge you to, be, to do the right thing and allow the members of the Congress to decide the way in which we, they want to see the football progress and determine who they desire to give that mandate to carry it through. Onward, Jacqueline Cummins. Well, people them lie up. And be a power go on people. Let me see who this who, who Yo This so like that it a come from And this a team, don't yeah, man, that does seem like. John, you know. So, people, I want you to share your thoughts on this one in a bit. Are they rushing the election or are they correct based on, on the Constitution? This is a serious matter, you know. Is the JF, JFF now operating unconstitutionally? And with the big saga surrounded. <laughs> It no look good. It no look good, people. So, people basically want the election to run so the people them can select who them want. If they if, if they are to retain President Ricketts or if they are supposed to, I know one candidate. Um, I think he's the only candidate. Is it, VP. What's his name again? The Builder. Raymond Anderson. Some people really not convinced with Raymond Anderson. Some people still not convinced with President Ricketts. They see him as a puppet. So, it seems that the football is in a big, big, big dire strait right now. Yeah. If football is in a big, 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 big problem. Um, but some people are saying, try the new man. Some people are saying, the new man is presenting himself properly. So, in my recycle people who have failed, some people have said, Ricketts, you can't get no better than him because in the letter it also stated that my the best president based on what happened. So, yo, right now, I don't know. I don't too involved in the politics, no people. I just bring, bring the, 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 the facts to you so that you can decide and where you 
want to think about you know the whole the whole saga that is happening where the football is concerned but right now me not too in a politics me just because coaches they always get the stuff them you don't know where to share to do no you understand so I want you to share your thoughts people and tell me who you think are going to win who you think deserve to be president is it a case of deserving to be or we need for us throw some water in a pen and us wash out the pen and carry some fresh breed what do you say share your comments in the comment section people until next time stay safe peace out